In this video, we're going to have a look at how parameters can be passed to a function using keyword arguments. Consider this computer program. If we have a look, we can see here we have a definition of a function, and here we have a call to that particular function. Inside the function, you can see there's a loop, and we go round this for loop this many times, printing this message. Of course, the number of times we go round is this number here being passed to this particular parameter here, this formal parameter. The string, hello world in the call, is passed the message, and that's what's printed here. So when this program actually executes, this is what we see. We see the message hello world being printed six times. Of course, this string hello world is the argument, it is the actual parameter, and it's listed first in the brackets, so that is passed to message. This 6 is second in the list, so it goes here to the second one in the list, here which is the formal parameter. The passing of parameters here has been dictated to by the order in which things appear in the two brackets we've already shown. Now there is another way of actually passing parameters, and that is to do with keyword arguments. A keyword argument in a function call identifies the argument by the formal parameter name. The Python interpreter is then able to use the keywords provided to connect the values with the formal parameters. Here's the program again, but you can see there has been a change, and the change occurs on this line. So compare this line with this one here. What you can see in the brackets here is I have message is assigned hello world, and here I have times is assigned six. Now if we look at the first one, the hello world is assigned to message, and this word message is the same word as this here. So in other words, the hello world is passed to this message. Here we can see we have times is assigned 6. Have a look at this word times here, and you can see that's the same as this. So this 6 is passed to this one. So we've identified these two parameters here, these formal parameters, in the call here and here. So this is another way in which we can actually pass the hello world and the 6 to the function. And if we run this program, what we should see is this. Exactly the same runtime. We've just passed them using keyword arguments. Whereas here, the order in which they appeared is the reason why hello world ended up at message and why six ended up at times. Let's have a look at the program we've just discussed again here. And you can see the call has keyword arguments. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter this, and I'm going to show the alteration in the program below. And you should see here that all I've done, I've made times is assigned 6, followed by message is assigned hello world. Now they are swapped round. Here you see times came second, whereas here times comes first. But because we're doing this using keyword arguments, when this 6 is assigned to times, it identifies this formal parameter, so this 6 is copied to times. And here, message is assigned hello world, so the hello world is assigned to message, and of course this message is this message here, this formal parameter message. So hello world ends up here. And if we now run the program, if it doesn't make any difference what the order is, then the program should be the same runtime, and we can see that it is. Let's consider the program we've just looked at a moment ago, which is this one, and what we can see, we've got the program and we've got the runtime, and if we look at the call, we can see in brackets here, we've used keyword arguments, and times has come first, and message has come second. What I want to do now is to emphasize the point about ordering. Let's have a look at this computer program here you can see that it's the same in terms of the function definition, but if you come down here and look at the call, I'm passing in the 6 first, the number 6, the integer 6, and then I'm passing in the hello world. 
Now what's going to happen here is that this 6, because I'm not using keyword arguments, is going to be passed to message. And the hello world is going to be passed to times. Of course, when we look at this loop, and in particular look at the range, the range has had passed to it hello world. In other words, the times has received hello world. And of course, range is expecting to receive an integer. So in this particular case, I've put in the times first and then the string, but I haven't used keyword arguments. So when this program runs, what we're going to get at the output is this. It's going to crash. And if we look here, it's saying it's crashed because of a type error. The string object cannot be interpreted as an integer. In other words, the hello world has been incorrectly passed for the logic of this program to times. And consequently, the range function doesn't work because it was expecting a number. So this is showing that order does matter for the logic of passing of parameters to functions. But if you use keyword arguments, the order does not matter. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.